In this session, we're going to add a sound to our action script. To do this, we need to follow five simple things. First of all, we need to load the MP3 into our library. We need to make the MP3 a class. We need to create a sound channel. Assign the MP3 to a variable and then use the sound channel to play, stop or pause the song. So let's have a look at how we do this. First of all, we need to bring all our assets into our library. To do so, we need to go to File and we need to Import. Import it straight to the library rather than to the stage, otherwise it'll add it to the timeline and we don't want this at the moment. So we can select any sort of audio file. In this case, the audio files come in. If I double click the speaker, it actually tells me something about the audio file. It tells me it's a 22 kilohertz mono, 16 bit, 1.3 seconds in length, and it's 8.9 kilobytes in size. So the SWIFT file will actually have 8.9 kilobytes of its length allocated to this MP3. We can also in here set the class via this code by exporting to the action script. But what we're going to do is use an easier method. So we've actually imported the, the audio file into our library. So to make this a class, the quickest way to do it is actually go to the assign it as a link. So in this case here, we're going to call it SMD alarm. So I'm just going to copy that at the moment. So what that has done now, it's created SMD alarm as a class. And we can then call this, or in our case, assign it to a variable. But first we need to create a sound channel. So let's go to our scripting and start the coding. So what we want to do in this case is stop the playhead. Once we stop the playhead, we need to create a sound channel. So to do this, we need to create a variable and I'm going to call it audio player because this sound channel is what we use to play the sound file with. So it's like the CD player or the iPod itself. So what we're going to do is make audio player a version of a sound channel. And this is going to be a new sound channel. So it's a new instance of a sound channel. Now I can have audio player 1, audio player 2, 3, 4, etc. So this is the audio player or CD player. Then what I need to do is actually assign the, the sound file to a variable. And this is going to be our sound file. So I'm going to call it sound file. And this is going to be a new sound. But it's going to be a new instance of not of a sound, but of SND alarm. So it's actually a new instance of the alarm. It's now going to be stored in SND file. Now once we've done that, so we've um, created the player, we've um, loaded the sound file, now what we need to do is have the player play the sound file. And to do this, we just use the audio player. We use the audio player to play the sound file. So the audio player is equal to the sound file. And what we need to use is the methods, which are such things as play. So play this sound file in this sound channel. So if we run this program now, we should get an alarm. Excellent. So that's how we can actually create a sound channel load our files into a sound file and then use the sound channel to play the file. Now I can set this as a global. I would use these in global. We can actually either sign the sound files as globally or if I wanted to I can actually change them locally inside a function as a local uh, as a local variable. So it's up to you. And we can embed this inside a function so when we click a button we can call the sound change 
or if there is in multimedia a collision, we can actually then play a particular sound file or load a sound file into a file ready to be played if a particular instance occurs. Alright, I hope this helped you move along in your coding.